Did I just find the best fragrance you can buy at the supermarket? Let's find out. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you know what you're watching. You're watching Smelly Cash. Now, if you live in Dubai or even the other parts of the Middle East, depending on which supermarket you visit, you know that you can actually get your hands on some real hidden gems when it comes to fragrances. But most supermarkets are filled with utter garbage. There are these scents that are priced at around 25 to 30 dirhams, which is around $10, even cheaper than that. And people who don't know end up buying them. But if you really know your stuff and if you really search and you're lucky, there are actually some really good fragrances uh, at that price range in your supermarket aisle somewhere on a shelf. Think of your, you know, the cheaper Rasasis. Uh, and there are a couple of other brands as well. One such fragrance that I recently got my hands on is Oud Al Lail from the Arabiat series of My Perfumes. This quite easily could have got lost in the crowd until you hit the trigger and are simply, simply mind blown. Now I always, oh my God, this is, this is so strong. Now I always look at the store. That's what I was trying to say. Oh man, oh man. I need a minute. This is so strong. Okay, let me catch my breath. One spray guys. Did I spray one or two? Oh my god, I'm killing myself. Yeah, so I always, what was I saying? Yeah. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's the beast. Okay. Um, I always look at the My Perfume store, but somehow I never found myself going inside. And um, recently, and this is a store that's next to uh, Paris Corner, Fragrance World, um, Ardal Al Zafran. And recently, I saw it and I said, you know, well, let's go inside. And I tried this one. The person, the salesperson said, you know, this one is one of their best sellers. And as soon as I sprayed it, uh, my reaction was something like it is right now. It is so strong and I was mind blown. Now, before I continue with this, I picked up a couple of others as well. One is a Beast Mode Creed Aventis. And there are these as well, if you see here, there's Vanilla, Smoked Patchouli, uh, Oud, and a couple of others as well, which I was so impressed with. But I thought first, let me start with a review on Oud al now, Oud al Lail means Oud of the Night, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's also a word play on Awad al Lail, and, uh, which means I like the night. I'm just <laughs> taking shots in the dark here. Correct me if I'm wrong, if your Arabic is better than mine. I think that's what they're trying to do, Oud al Lail, Awad al Lail. Let's start with the presentation. This is the box. It comes in pretty standard stuff something that you see at the supermarket quite often. And here is the bottle that it comes in. Again, not the highest quality of glass. Uh, even the printing is not that good. And even though the wooden cap looks good, it's actually pretty light and cheap. It also has wood chips inside it, but it actually from afar looks really, really good. But you know what I like the most is that juice color. This should give you an idea of how that looks. But how does it smell, right? I'll start by saying that for a cheap, cheap budget scent like this, I'm really impressed by how they've made sure that this one is not flat or boring. The best thing I like about it is how it starts changing and it smells different every time you smell it in the air on yourself. This one is a sweet, floral, woody, soapy fragrance. It actually starts off quite floral and fruity, um, more than woody in the opening. And it takes you actually quite by surprise. It's strong and sweet and pretty unique in the opening. And actually, I don't have to say this. You saw what, I, what happened when I sprayed this before. 
uh, your neighbors will smell it when you spray it. So easy, easy on the trigger with this one. Now the opening will have you believe that this one is actually a scent for women. It smells very feminine that first blast. Wait a few seconds and it turns into a smooth, green, uh, sweet fragrance that anyone can wear. Now I have absolutely no clue what the notes, the official notes for these are, but in the initial blast, I get some sort of citrus, which I think is orange. Um, and along with that, I get some rose and what I think is some sweet fruitiness from what I believe is peach. It then quickly becomes a lot soapier. And this is when I get the lavender and the violet and I think it's iris or oris. I don't know how people can distinguish them, but it's definitely got an iris slash oris uh, accord as well. Then I also get cedar wood and oak moss. Now the oak moss is there right from the beginning. When you spray it, yes, you can detect the oak moss, and uh, but this is when it becomes more uh, pronounced. Then when it settles even more, you sort of get the amber and musk, so all the sweetness and like a sugar, caramel, vanilla like um, accord. Again, very smooth and sweet. And along with that, you also get the oud. The oud finally shows itself. Again, not a skanky, woody, strong uh, oud. It's a very sweet take on oud. But it doesn't settle to that. It doesn't become flat or boring and it's it's not like, it's not only those things. You start getting a lot more of that soapiness as well. The green, the, the rose, that damp, damp oak moss, they all sort of uh, come out a little more over that um, ambery, musky oud base. That's when you need to pinch and remind yourself that this one can be picked up for 40 dirhams, 35 to 40 dirhams, around $10 at a supermarket. How are they achieving all this uh, with a scent so cheap? This is an extremely classy fragrance, guys. And the moment you spray it, you know that you've got your hands on something special. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is this similar to another fragrance? Is this a clone of another fragrance? Yes, it is. It is similar to something. And at least from what I remember, and it's a scent that I haven't smelled in a long time but once this dried down i knew that this one is trying to be like uh, arabian woods by tom ford i used to have a decant of it uh, not a decant a sample of it a long time back and uh, when i first sprayed it i knew it was something like i had smelled before but once it dried down i remembered that it was tom ford's arabian woods but here's the thing this one is even more arabian than arabian woods let me explain myself. Think of Arabian Woods uh, by Tom Ford made by non-Arabs. And then the Arabs were given the same brief. And then they come up with a more Arabian version of the same thing. And that is what Oud al-Lail smells like. Um, I'll tell you another uh, way to know what this is. If you put Oud al-Lail on one side on a strip of paper, and you put Arabian, uh, Arabian Woods on a strip of paper, and you give it to someone who doesn't know, and you ask them which one of this is called Arabian Woods. I'm telling you, nine out of ten times they will pick Oud al Lail because it smells more Middle Eastern and Arab and Arabian. Let's talk about performance, shall we? Now, the most overused word in the frac com and perfumery is, you know what, beast. And for people who use designers and niche, and if they get around six hours or a couple of hours of projection, very easily they label it beast mode but if ever there was one fragrance that really deserved the tag it is this one here i get 16 18 even 20 hours with this one uh no jokes guys i'm sure it goes even longer than that i've just not had the chance to uh test it that long because i've you know ended up probably having a shower after 18 20 hours um, of wearing this when it's the next day uh, but I'm sure if you keep this on your skin it just it will go on forever and another thing is no jokes guys no exaggeration this also performs for that 
uh, 16, 18, 20 hours. So it's not like it'll stick on your skin uh, and become a skin scent after long. It does eventually become a, a skin scent, but the performance is right up there with 12, 14 hours. You're still getting uh, whiffs of this in the air. No taking a nose dive, no dwindling a little. This is serious stuff, guys. If you're wearing it on your skin, I would say three to four sprays are more than enough. If you're wearing it on your clothes, I'd say two to three sprays are more than enough. I've seen a lot of you posting your 20 sprays challenge, 30 sprays challenge. Please do not try that with this fragrance because man, we need you guys alive. <laughs> Uh, the other thing is the sillage it creates is just splendid uh, and I can't say that you know it's a bubble that it creates around you that is around two feet um, in distance because it's not that sort of a fragrance it is a fragrance that you leave behind uh, it leaves a scent trail wherever you go I don't know how it does it what is the science behind it but that's how this one works coming to the compliments factor I cannot imagine this scent not getting noticed and not getting complimented not because it's a very likable scent but it's very different this is not your invictus and your uh, blue de chanel your shower gel like likable scent it is very different and people will be intrigued uh, by what you're wearing and the way it performs even people far away from you will uh, will notice it in the air if you wear the right amount of sprays it smells posh and upscale and very expensive uh, this is a, a gentleman's scent uh, a, a confident mature gentleman i'll be honest i haven't really had the chance to wear this a lot only because you know i didn't find the right setting for it and if i ever have like an uh, advertising award night or something like that where i need to wear a tuxedo or suit up I will definitely wear this one. Now coming to my final rating of this gem. Only for the sheer audacity of my perfumes to create a beast like this. A complicated beast like this and then price it. Have the to price it at the, the price that they've launched it. And not just that, throw it on a supermarket shelf. Only for that, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Yep, you heard me right. 10 out of 10, not 8, not 9, but 10 out of 10. That's how much I love this scent. Honestly, you know, it's it's not the best thing in the world, but just it'll blow your mind at how much they've offered at this price. Uh, it's a surprising scent. And to tell you how much I love it, now call me crazy, but I actually suited up at home <laughs> only to wear this and feel how it feels um, and to know how it feels because I really didn't get the option to go out that's how much I like this scent and that's why I give it a 10 out of 10 okay let's get this clear is it the best fragrance that I own no is it the most versatile fragrance that I own again no but for the sheer joy it brings to me at the price that it's available I can't It'll be unfair for me to give this anything but a 10 on 10. I have a newfound respect for my perfumes. Uh, I'll be honest, it's a brand that I've ignored for quite some time. But as you can see, I've picked quite a few and I'm going to try a lot of my perfume fragrance from now. So if you've reached this far in the video, all you've got to do is comment with the word, comment with the word oak moss, okay, because this is this has a lot of oak moss. If you reach this far, if you watch the video all the way and you want a special place in my heart, comment with the word oak moss and I know that you've made it this far. Until next time, keep smelling amazing. No, I'm not gonna spray this on myself. I will die again.